Hey guys, how are you doing? So if you don't know me, my name is Thais Barreto and yeah, I'm Brazilian and I'm here to talk with you about the Brazilian culture, okay? So please give me a like, share this video and subscribe here pressing the little bell because you receive a notification every time that I record a new video, okay? So today we are going to talk about the difference between holidays and paid vacations in Brazil, okay? So that's actually funny because I mean like when I was in London I got really surprised because everyone used to keep talking with me asking are you here in holidays and I just use it keep thinking and say no I'm here in vacations <laughs> what was funny because actually in England for what I noticed holidays and vacations are the same thing but I'm Brazilians and we have some difference between that because Holidays here in Brazil are days off that no one have to work, you know, because we are celebrating something. And paid vacations are 30 days that every Brazilian um, have after work for 12 months, okay? So the law give us that right. So our employer we will will we'll pay us 30 days like 30 days like three zero of vacations okay so we supposed to receive one salary to that and a little bit more money you know like a one third of our salary you know the employer the boss will pay to the worker to just take resting, you know, for 30 days. So we have 30 days of paid vacations, which the work receive one salary plus a gratification of one third of his salary just to relax, you know? That is paid vacations in Brazil. But we also have like other public days off that we call holidays. So in artist, we have in a year something like 13 days of holidays so we have few holidays to celebrate some causes for example 1st of January we celebrate the word peace 1st of May we celebrate uh, the day of the workers you know in other days, we celebrate Christmas, like in 25 of December. We also celebrate, uh, for example, the day of your city. Yeah, the day of the birthday of the city, you know. But we also celebrate Saint Days. Yeah, that's actually interesting because um, in the 70s, you know, when my mom was like in university, uh, Brazil used to have a public religion, it was Catholicism, but we don't have that anymore. We are like a free country, so everyone can have different religions, but we have a, re a huge influence from Christianism here. So because of that, we still celebrate Saint Days, like for example, we celebrate April we celebrate uh, the Christian passion maybe that's the word in English you know so it's like in a Friday so people usually don't eat bread meat you know it's kind of to celebrate the Easter we also celebrate for example in October in 12th of, of October we celebrate the day of the black virgin mary you know it's her name in portuguese is like nossa senhora aparecida you know in december we also celebrate in 8th of december the day of another virgin mary called nossa senhora da imaculada conceição so brazilians usually have 30 days of paid vacations and we also have um some holidays so, how we usually celebrate those holidays? Uh, some Brazilians can take the holidays plus the weekend to make little trips, you know? 
So we go to other cities, we go to the beach, you know. So because of that, it's like we have 30 days of paid vacation and we also have small vacations that we call holidays. So it's point of our culture in Brazil, you know. What is actually interesting because for what I saw in other countries is not like that. I have like a friend that is from German and he told me that he was like coming to Brazil to have some vacations here because he worked a lot of extra hours to compensate those days that he wouldn't keep working, you know. But that's a good point about Brazil, okay? So here we learned that we don't have an official religion anymore, but we still celebrate Catholic days. And we also have holidays that are public to everyone. And we was and we also have 30 days of paid vacation, okay? So I see you in the next video. Bye!